did I get you? Yeah, I know it's a surprise for this video to actually have voice commentary in it, but figuring that it is the 100th episode of our Fallout Shelter Subscriber Vault series, I decided, why not? Let's put voice commentary in it. Since it is such a special occasion for it being the 100th day. So in this video, I actually do want to talk about a few things going on. About the future of this channel, and where it might be going. Don't worry, I'm not quitting YouTube. Although, I should talk about some issues, such as what's going on with Viscera Cleanup Detail and future game series. Oh, hold on, let's collect this power. And we get a lunchbox. We'll open that later. Grab all this fine stuff. All the dwellers leveled up. All the new guy in, or new girl. Whatever works. And we've got someone maxed out. Another person maxed out. Wow, a lot of people maxing out. Sorry. I'm not really good at, like, talking and doing stuff at the same time, but it's obvious. Alright, so let's see. You should go over into... Wait, how much? How much luck you got? Alright, you could go into luck training. What about you? Yeah, you were already maxed out with luck. You should go in... Strength training. No, not you. Yes, you. Let's see. Just more hoops. Yeah, you're already maxed out on that. So let's just take you up. Oh, they're maxed out on that too. Put you in the luck room if we got room. And we do. We'll name that person later. And let's see. Got you exploring the wasteland. So far, he's doing pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so what I want to talk about is Viscera Cleanup to Tail. If a lot of my fans have noticed, I haven't been able to post as much as that daily. Like, I used to post the series like almost every day and then take a quick pause before going back into the next episode. So the reason I had to stop doing that was because I had switched over from the recording program that was already present in my computer to OBS Studios. And if you notice in the old videos, you'll kind of notice this odd audio corruption with footsteps. So I did have to change to OBS, but the problem is the videos are now in much better quality, but it now takes a long time to upload videos. I'm talking a long time. Like, I usually have to let the video upload overnight. And even then, I gotta wait an extra several hours. So at the moment, I am trying to figure out an issue on how to fix this. But in the meantime, I guess we're just gonna kinda have to deal with it. Unfortunately. But... On more happier news, I actually did get a few games recently, and I can't wait to do a series on them with commentary. Like, I've been thinking of several, like Planes vs. Zombies Game of the Year Edition, Postal 2, oh yeah, Postal 2 is a big one. Like, that's actually the first video I'm going to be doing with commentary. And another one, Ben the Exorcist. No, not Ben and Ed. Though, ah, never mind. But it's like a uh, comedy slash horror. Also, to a lot of subscribers who have been contacting me, going like, "Hey, you know, like I'm subscribed to you, but I'm not showing up in the subscribers' vault. What's going on?" Well, what's going on is that. I actually go by a list of people I can publicly view. 
because that's the thing though, like, for some reason, people who keep their subscriptions private, I can't see if they're subscribed. I don't know why YouTube has this weird system put in place, but YouTube's doing a lot of weird stuff recently that I don't agree with. Oh, and uh, another thing, before I forget, I know a lot of people may not be okay with this, but I've actually been thinking about doing a restart on the whole Fallout Shelter series, but making some minor improvements, like including voice commentary. Now, you're the crew of botanists that have been helping out settlers. Thank goodness you're here. We haven't had a mashed Tito's or french fries in nearly a month. There's a group at a research lab off yonder that thinks it isn't a disease. They have an alternate theory. We're not botanists, but we want to help. What's their theory? You'll have to ask them. We need to put in a new crop. So as, as I was saying, I wouldn't be scrapping like all of the episodes I've done so far, but I would end up having to restart the whole series from the very start. I'd still be naming dwellers after my subscribers, but that's about it, really. So, I'm going to put a poll in this video around the end asking people if I should restart a new series or just leave it off the way it is right now. And in case you're wondering why I don't do a lot of voice commentary much, it's not only because I have a quiet voice, it's also because I kind of live in a house at the moment with my mom and sister, and it's kind of difficult to keep things quiet for voice commentary. Because oh, believe it or not, trying to record while having a small amount of a social life is actually extremely difficult because of background noise and everything. Like, my god, I can see why Markiplier and like Jacksepticeye hire people to do their editing for them. Alright, get in there, boys. This vault isn't too big. It's not too bad. Oh crap, missed that. That's right, I got it anyways. I'm not gonna lie. Well, I've been playing this, I've encountered... Uh, sorry, I'm slurring my words. I've encountered several vaults, or like dungeons that have no enemies in them whatsoever. It's really confusing and kind of frustrating because you deck out all these super strong dwellers with great gear and armor, only to have them go out into the wasteland and just, oh well, they didn't have to fight anything. They just took all those stim packs and like ran away with them just in case. I'd also like to apologize if my voice commentary isn't the best. To be honest, I this is like one of the first few times I've actually included voice commentary in my gameplay footage. So, if it seems a little amateur and off, then you know why. Damn, this vault's actually tougher than I thought. Come on, finish him. Turn him into jello. Man, wouldn't it be great if they added animations for, like, if you killed an enemy with a critical hit, they would just, like, turn into a pile of ash? Or, like, a goo pile? Kind of like how in Fallout 3. Oh, 
Also, in case you're wondering why with strong enemies I have all the dwellers focus on one enemy at a time, it's because that if you take out one of the enemies quicker, then you won't have to worry about them still damaging your other dwellers. If I can make that make sense. There we go. And down you go as well. And they had nothing. Game crashed. Don't worry, I'll get it back up working again. Yes, I am not proud to admitting this, but sometimes while I'm recording this, Fallout Shelter does tend to crash. Don't worry, we're getting it back up. And there we go. Now it should be from where we left off. I think it's got like an emergency save feature in case of a crash. Thank God for that. There we go. Yes, can I please click on Guy Fury? In case you're wondering why I named him Guy Fury. It's because I could. Oh, there he is, right behind Guy Fury. Some sort of creep. Finish her. Please. And they all got caps along with extreme lag, apparently. So glad I'm here with my pals. You know what, maybe that's it. Maybe to like, spice up my voice commentary, maybe I should just get a nice big bottle of Adderall for this certainly make me want to talk a lot. And uh, here's the second one. Ah, oh, so close. And they're both dead. And Guy Fury and Confessor Cromwell leveled up. The end. Well, it's not. We've still got three more floors. See what else we can find. Wait, how much stuff we got? Ah, yeah, we've got eight. We'll be fine. He was already dead either way. Hey, what if, like, critical hits made it so that if you messed up, you would just end up doing way less damage than normal? And Guy Fury focuses on the one on the right. Or the left. I was just measuring from the Dweller's perspective. Eat them, Cromwell! Eat their feet! Good boy. Wait, do we have actually... actual any subscribers here? We've got... Crom? No. Guy Fury? No, that's not him. Oh yeah, he was Seth. Yeah, he's still here. Also, in case you're wondering what happens, 
if one of my subscribers in the vault unsubscribes from my channel. I will actually, like, I won't notice it at first, but when I do, I will actually evict them from the vault. Not because I'm mean, but because, you know, we gotta save room for other subscribers who are still, like, current. Oh, shit. Good thing we saved all those crits. Ugh, so nice. And... Ah, so close again. Just nearly there. And he's dead anyways. I actually do wonder, what would giant rat scorpion taste like? I assume it's like crab, but way more drier. And the final floor. Oh god. Well, I didn't see this coming. Oh yeah, we've only got four. We might need to cut this quest early. Oh yeah, we'll definitely have to. Just to be better safe than sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry guys, but we're cutting this one early. Just to be safe. C come on. Eh, I'll risk it. I shouldn't have... Maybe I shouldn't have risked it. Ah, so close. Oh well, this is dead. Good thing I did check there. Um, yeah, we only got three. Yeah, you know, I'm just gonna play it safe here. Sorry, guys. I would also like to extremely apologize for any possible lag that might appear in these videos, but to be honest, I honestly don't watch my own videos, because that's the thing a lot of YouTubers never talk about. You don't watch your own videos because there's like no surprise or shock in it because you already know what's going to happen. You already know what's going to be said and it's like there's no joy in it. You know, because you kind of made the video. Oh, god damn it. And shit. Alright. Here, Brianna, have a hardened flamer. And Andy's with her. Also, in case you guys haven't realized it, Andy is actually the name of the first Mr. Handy robot you encounter in Vault 101. The one that destroys the cake. Oh, wait, who are you? Oh, God, it's Preston. Oh man, he looks so different without a radiation suit. And there goes all our... power. Here, I'm just gonna save this dweller here as a reserved slot for anyone. Because at the moment, I can't find any good ones. 
And we're gonna have to rush some power readings. Rush this one as well. God! And they've got no weapons on them. Great. And the mysterious strangers out there. Great. Just. Yes, everything fuck up while I'm busy. There we go. And he's gone. Yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna open this lunchbox and call this video quits. Let's see what we got. Oh. Alright, that's better than nothing. 100 caps. 4 new Coca Cola Quantums. 1 Raider Armor. And 500 caps. You know what? It's not what I absolutely wanted out of a lunchbox, but I'll take it. And god damn it, I was about to end it the video, but then you little asshats just come on in. Fine. For free money, I'll just keep this video going. Like, I don't really mind having, like, myself talk in my videos, but I do kind of mind, like, keeping my videos on too long, because at the moment, this recording's been 21 minutes long, and it's a little concerning. Because, like I said, YouTube takes its sweet, sweet, sweet time and to, like, upload them. Wait, what are you guys doing here? Where are you? Oh, there you are. Now let's play one of the most frustrating games of Where's Waldo ever. Wait, where's Cappy? Where's your friend? Yeah, I see you up there. Hi. Oh, there you are. Now the question is, if I were to restart the series, would the body, bottle and cappy quests still be available to me? Because it does say it's limited time, but it's been limited time for about a whole year now, so... I think it's been a year. I don't know, my whole perception on time is kind of messed up at the moment. But with Bottle and Cappy, it's a constant struggle to just keep an eye on the two while doing stuff. Because you gotta keep a especially good eye on Bottle, because he'll occasionally reward you with Nuke Cola Quantum. And they're leaving. Alright, quick Bottle, I'll hold him off! You gotta go! Run for it! We're gonna hold him off as quick as we can! Run! You're free now! Free from this tyranny! Go! Run while you still can! You weird bottle man! Oh shit, Cappy's after him! Run, bottle! He's coming! He knows of the plan! Oh fuck, run, bottle! Bottle, no! I'm sorry, bottle! We held him off! Oh fuck, you can tell by the look on his face, bottle's gonna get it now. Oh, you know he's gonna get it. Oh, poor bottle. Oh god, I can't look. Ooh, food. Can we craft anything here? Hmm. I already crafted all this stuff. You know what? I'll craft a plasma rifle. Just because I've got more junk than I actually need. 
And that'll be it for this episode. The one and possibly only episode where I will put commentary in this one. Unless I restart the whole series. Well, I also haven't really thought of a good outro, so... I guess see you guys in the next video.